Take your seat, please. Okay. Thank you. Today we're going to discuss about physics law on train. Are you okay? Are you? Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. 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 Everyone okay? okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. So we start. So today we start from introduction. <coughs> okay, introduction. The story of tree. The story of the modern train spans the range of last two hundred years of modern human civilization. Who in that time used this incredible discovery to drastically change industry, human expansion, and the way we travel on daily basis? Oh. From the first time, steam train rolled over the railway of industry in England in early 100 to the modern times we build it with trains carry thousands of passengers with incredible speed and freight train carry substantial amount of world goods train and able used to develop our civilization with unexpected consequences that nobody expected. So, everyone understand? Uh, yeah. <coughs> yes. So, we can continue. The steel lens become almost instantly reachable. 300 mile journey from New York to California was cut down from one or two months of few days. Industrial manufacture could be powered with infinite amount of raw material and outgoing transfer of finished goods and sudden fast travel. For before first airplanes were discovered, cause the need of implementing standardized time zones across entire world. Today, trains are used in variety of ways from small city trams, subway electric trains, distant trains equipped with dining cars and sleeping quarters for longer journeys, freight train to high speed bullet train that can reach speed of Three, three, 300 to 500 km per hour. However, their history starts with much simpler and slower design. Even before steam engines arrived, ancient civilization of Greece and Egypt and industrial Europe used hosts of primary source of di driving simple train car with some purposefully with train tracks that enable journey in only two directions. Hoss and bulls needed to waste minimal amount of the force while pulling coal, iron, and other goods. So, last but not least, arrival of first non condensing preserved steam engine in first few years of 19th century enabled engineers to build new kind of railway system and train cars. Train that were built to carry much more material than people before. So, Ray, what do you think uh, to the physics law applied to train? Uh, I have uh, one idea. Uh, can I explain about my idea? Okay, please. My pleasure. Okay, thank you. This is about my idea. Okay. Uh, I think uh, momentum of train. Okay. Okay, definition of momentum. Momentum describes how strong a moving thing is. Uh, thing they are moving have no momentum. Okay. One way to think of momentum is that momentum measure how hard uh, it will be to stop the object. An object has more momentum if it is bigger or if it is going fast. Momentum is equal equal to mass time, velocity, or speed. Okay. Uh, for example, if a car, uh, something with a lot of mass is rolling down the street uh, toward you, it's hard to stop it even uh, if it is going pretty slow. Oh, okay. It's okay, it's okay. okay. That's why it's dangerous uh, to walk on a train track uh, because train is big 
and it goes fast. And so it takes a long time to stop one. That's me that's me. The driver the driver can just stop the train as soon as her or she see you. Sorry about my mistake, sir. Oh, uh, it's okay. Sir, can I go out for a minute? Okay, please. Thank you, sir. It's okay. Uh, how about you, Brian? You have any idea? Sure, I have an idea. Okay, please. Sorry, boss, I am late. Oh, no. Uh, did I miss something? Uh, no, yeah, we uh, just start our uh, meeting. Please uh, take your seat. Okay, sorry, sir. Okay, bye. Start your display. My idea is Newton's first law. The first law of motion states that an object will not change its speed or direction unless an unbalanced force, a force which is distant from the reference point, affect it. Another name for the first law of motion is the law of inertia. If balance force actually on an object, it doesn't accelerate or change direction. This means it doesn't change its velocity and it doesn't have momentum. For example, if you kick a ball in space, it will keep going forever because there is no gravity, friction or air resistance going against it. It will only stop going in one direction if it hits something like a meteorite or reach the gravity field of another planet. Okay. Application Newton's law on the train. When there is no force acting on the train, the train will not start moving. It will stay in the position, the static, friction, or Q. This application based the Newton's first law. If the train moving with constant velocity, V A equal to zero, is also called as Newton's first law. Very good, Brian. So, who's next? I think I have one idea, sir. Okay. Can I present for mine? Yes, of course. Can I have a seat? Okay. My presentation. Uh, I want to apologize to you because I'm coming late. So today I have an uh, idea about the Newton's second law. The Newton's second law states that the acceleration is produced when an unbalanced force acts on the object. The more mass of the object has the more net force has to be moving. For example, if you use the same force to push a truck and push a car, the car will have more acceleration than the truck because of the car has less mass. Uh, the application for this one, the Newton's second law, into the train is to the train that are not moving, the train will start moving. This is because based on a formula that we learned which is F equal to MA, when the force increase, acceleration also will increase. Mm -hmm. uh, this is because the force or uh, F is directly proportional to the acceleration. Uh, bracket A. This application based on Newton's second law. Thank you. Oh well done, Mary. Okay. Please take your seat. Sir, so, do you I need to close this one first? Oh, okay. Okay. So, who's next to the present? Please. Me, sir. Under my own idea. Okay. The study of the properties of moving air and especially of the interaction between the air and solid bodies moving through it. Uh, properties of a solid object regarding the manner in which air flow from it. Okay, uh, now aerodynamic, aerodynamic concept in the train. 
aerodynamic strength body has a high level of aerodynamic coefficients. This is due to the, to the lack of curvature in the front of the train by streamlining the train body or making the front of the train be a bullet so it can speed up the wind and reduce the value of the aerodynamic coefficients. This type of train can reduce the vibration that occur on the uh, train while driving fast and can save time when the train service uses because the train speed can be faster. Thank you. Well done, Ali. Please take your seat. Thank you. So, we need uh, no uh, conclusion from Fatihi. So, please take your place. In conclusion, physics is actually physics is taken only to mathematics the purity of its principle. Physics describes how the natural world work through applied mathematical formula. It deals with the fundamental force of the universe and how they interact with matter looking at everything from gas and planet to atoms and quarks and everything in between. All other natural science stem from physics. Chemistry is essentially applied physics and biology is essentially applied chemistry. Physics theory is responsible for the breakthrough in electronic that precipitated advance in modern computer and electronic media. Okay, well done Fadihi. So, that's our discussion. So, give your claps to all.